Hi, in this video we are going to discuss the online sources where you can find financial data for a company. Looking through the annual report can be tedious sometimes and if you have to compare companies uh, you know, in a sector, in an industry, then looking at the reports and bringing the data in one place may be difficult. Also, you will need to calculate certain ratios, certain indicators which may not be present in the financial statements of a company. So are there some online resources which we can refer to and uh, what kind of numbers do they report? Do they report the same indicators that we have learned in this course? Let's uh, understand the resources. Let's look through some of those resources. So in this video, I'm going to take you through some of these websites which you can use to access financial data, the statistics, the indicators, financial indicators for uh, any listed company, any public listed company, which means the company has to be listed on the stock exchange. It has to be a public company. Only then these numbers are you know, available more freely in the market. If it's a private company, then you may be able to find some numbers, but not all the numbers. So uh, what I'm going to do is go to a web browser and look through some of these websites and help you understand uh, you know, how to look for such numbers. So I go to my browser and uh, we can go to NSC India. I Google it. I find the first link. I click on this. So this is National Stock Exchange and uh, you mostly have uh, the stock market related data purchase and uh, selling of the shares. However, what we are interested in is the financial data. So I'm going to type the name of the company and our favorite company is Reliance Industries Limited. And you have a quote for, uh, you know, quote for Reliance Industry Limited. The quote is necessarily, you know, about the market prices and so on. But the initial information shows a PE, the PE ratio of Reliance Industries. And we know what is price to earning ratio, PE multiple. Uh, you have the in, uh, industry or sectors PE given here uh, as well. Anyways, this is not what we are after. What we are after is financial data and more numbers. So for that, we can scroll down and you get more information on at what price that you know share is selling and some other technical terms. And here you have a nice table. You click on corporate information and then you can look at annual reports of the company. So you can, uh, click on the annual reports and you can download the reports, you know, which we were looking at. So if you download the uh, latest, uh, in fact, this website does not have the report for financial year uh, 1920, which we were looking at, but you can access them at one place here. You can look at their board meetings, details, the corporate actions, you know, some advanced terms which you may not know right now. Don't worry about it. What are we interested in? We are interested in financial results. You go there and you can download the financial results of this uh, company. So this is one way of, uh, uh, you know, accessing the financials uh, of this company. So uh, in, in addition to this, you could uh, go to investors complaints, uh, shareholder pattern, who, uh, who holds the shares in the company, what is the breakdown and so on. Anyways, but this is the kind of data that you will find on this website. We can look at some more websites. Let's, let's look at Yahoo Finance and you click on the website and here again you type the company of your interest which is Reliance Industries Limited and it gives you you know a lot of data throws at you what is this this is a summary you can look at charts statistics historical financial so there are a lot of numbers let's uh, see what we are interested in so in the landing page you see uh, it gives you previous close open bid ask this is about the share prices uh, you look at the second uh, column you have market capitalization which we know what it is you have beta which we do not want to talk about right now PE ratio is something we know earning per share we know uh, yeah those are the terms that we know right now now what I want you to do is to either go to financials first where you will have the revenues and the balance sheet and income statement numbers so you can look at those numbers uh, for last three years here you can look at income statement, you can look at balance sheet, the third statement which is cash flow which we will discuss in the course further. So all three statements for the last three years 
are you know present here uh, we want to look at the data indicators and you know so on this is uh, analysis this is actually yahoo finance teams analysis of this company what do the thing is going to happen to the earnings and so on you go to statistics statistics is where you find the indicators the financial ratios that we are after so here you have uh, uh, pe and you have price to book ratio and a number of other advanced uh, financial indicators uh, are also here profitability profit margin operating profit margin you know this management's effectiveness this is the efficiency ratio return on asset uh, return on equity you have uh, uh, income statement uh, numbers here EBITDA you know this balance sheet numbers current ratio is here uh, debt to equity is here uh, then you have dividend and splits you have payout ratio uh, dividend dates are here so number of details are given here and whatever numbers you're interested in you can look at these numbers uh, so that's yahoo finance we can also look at moneycontrol.com uh, here moneycontrol.com you can again look for a search box do we have a search box here somewhere where you could here you could search for reliance industries limited there again it shows you a similar kind of dialog box what you are interested in are the financials of the company you click on financials and you have all this sale other income and so on then you can click on you know related tabs it shows you everything here and you have a tab for ratios you click on ratios and you have relevant ratios that they want to show dividend per share book value eps uh, and you know you further look into this website you'll find more data so other than this we have uh, investing.com which should also be interesting investing.com in the investing.com i will again do the same thing look for reliance industries limited Okay, let me do a new search, RIL. All right, there you go. India's company, Reliance Industries. You have this quote. Again, th these are, you know, movement in share prices. So what we are interested in is uh, financials. And in financials, we want to look at the ratios. So you have the ratios here as well okay what ratios do they show to us you have p ratio and then all different kinds of ratios they've calculated you have gross margin operating margin net profit margin you know about all of these ratios return on assets return on investment quick ratio current ratio so all i'm trying to say is uh, what we've discussed is what is practiced in the industry as well so if you have gone through the videos carefully, you have learned these ratios, you should be able to go through these websites and learn a lot of things. The best website is screener.in. Uh, you will need to register and you know, log in into this and I am already logged in. When I log in, I can search for my company. Here is my company. This according to me provides very nice, nicely uh, you know, curated content on the financial uh, statements of the companies, ratios, analysis. It also gives you an option to compare against the peers, against the competitors. That's what I like about this website. So uh, in the on the top dashboard, you have a list of ratios, some numbers, uh, everything you know uh, that these people think is uh, 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 you know uh, relevant. You could edit and you could accord you know customize this dashboard for you. Some, some uh, access to some level is free on the website, but beyond a level, if you want to look at more advanced analysis, comparisons with peers, etc., then you have to pay and get a subscription. But you can, you know, pretty much for your purpose, you can very much use the free version. You don't have to worry about that. So uh, this is the share price. You can change, you know, uh, the duration for which you want to look at the share price, but we are interested in ratios. Here is a peer comparison. So peer comparison of uh, Reliance Industries, 
By the way, we are looking at Reliance Infrastructure. We are interested in Reliance Industries. So Reliance Industries here, uh, let me go to the peer comparison. Yeah. So now you have other five companies which are in the same sector, same industry, the competitors. Uh, this is the current market price. This is the net profit in the last quarter, which will be quarter four of 2019-20. This is debt to equity ratio. Uh, this is uh, also debt to equity ratio. We have price uh, to earning ratio, dividend yield, return on assets, asset turnover, debtor, uh, collection period. Uh, this is quick ratio. This is stock turnover ratio. The numbers that you would like to see are all here. You could edit these columns. Since I have logged in, I can edit these, this column and I can actually decide which, which ratios do I want to see. So there are three, four numbers which by default are there uh, in that table. But then I can look through a list of ratios and select the ones which I want to see. Uh, so there you go. You could uh, use this table. Uh, so maybe I'll click. Maybe I don't want PE because it already shows that debt to equity is also a default. But what I want is, let's say, uh, which ratio? Return on invested capital. So return on invested capital, save columns. And now we are back. You go to peer comparison and you have return on invested capital here. But it shows limited number of columns. So you will have to, you know, drop one to see the other indicator. You also have quarterly results. You can view standalone or consolidated. Profit and loss account is here. Balance sheet is given. Cash flow statement is also here. Then you have these ratios. And then, you know, all the annual reports are also consolidated, uh, you know, brought at one place. You can download these numbers into an Excel as well. Uh, but if you want, you know, more analysis, uh, you want detailed comparison with one of the company, let's say IOCL, Indian Oil uh, Corporation, IOCL, now you'll have to pay. So, you know, some features are uh, paid features, but you don't need to worry about that. If you need uh, comparative data, you can go to this website. Okay, uh, I'm not looked at Bloomberg. You could do that. Similar numbers uh, are presented on such websites. So there you go. Uh, in this video, we looked at a bunch of websites where financial data is presented. And what we have proved to ourselves, what we have established is that these websites also report the numbers that we have learned. There may be some fancy numbers, some more advanced ratios, but once you know the basics, uh, you can uh, very well figure out the definition of the other advanced ratios or fancy ratios or customized ratios. You could create your own ratios as well. Ratio, after all, is a mathematical relationship between two numbers. Throw in any two numbers and you can figure out a ratio. But if it is relevant to the business, uh, that's the question. Is the ratio relevant to the business? Uh, accordingly, you could figure out whatever ratio works for uh, a business, whatever information you're looking for. If that ratio helps, you can use that ratio. Okay, let me stop here. I'll see you in the next video.